Lucky yeah. they're not. They're pretty good at the Olympics, am I right? Don't they go pretty good lately? Yep. But oh, there's yeah. a lot of doping sure scandal, do. though. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, a lot. A lot. Yeah. They're way ahead of the curve when it comes Okay, to let's that. talk about that for a second. Is there, is there any, um, you know, no doubt everyone wants to take performance to the... And it's all about food and energy and... Yeah. Is there still suspicions of this and that that you... Does anyone... or is, do, do do the guys that you know just switch off and go, Heh. you know, because... With what? With, with drugs. Yeah, like taking your, your body to the absolute limit to... Well, it wouldn't even be called drugs, I'm sure, to a to an athlete. Like, I, I you know, what is it... Yeah. With, whether you take... Um, let's pretend creatine, right? A, okay. a, a standard sort of... Muscle so buildings. people in other countries are that's the equivalent. Do you mean for them? Like I like I've heard of other countries calling them vitamins. Right. Which oh, is, yeah. okay. <coughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's hard because um, you know, at the end of the day, like this, you know, you were talking about like a, a like these leading competitions, and that's probably mm. a good idea because essentially what happens in in doping all over the world is you've got your international bodies that yep. operate, you know, pretty much primarily at major competitions. Mm-hmm. And then you've got your national bodies. Yeah. Um, so here we've got ASADA. ASADA. Um, and ASADA does a, like a pretty they thorough job. They are really the bombers, didn't like they? They, they, yeah. they, do a, they do a really thorough job. Like, so but Australians are under constant sort of, you know, they're under the spotlight constantly. Always. So, but when you, you know, comparing that to the world, you, you just don't know how your national standard and, is comparing yeah. to th- these guys that you know can sort of yeah, like India's yeah. a compete, huge country compete, and that compete be through and, can, yeah. and qualify and then come to a major championship. That's where the unknown yeah, comes about. Like, so what? But okay, but like the drug the drug tests are universal, right? Yeah, but yeah, that's it. And every national body is supposed to enforce it in the same way. But it's mm. just yeah. it, it, like it comes down to it's like a resource thing as well. Like it, you know, like we, we we live in a lucky country. There's there's resources to have Asada do a really thorough job. Yeah. Um, mm. un- unfortunately, like that sort of standard can't be carried out all no. over the world. Like, have no, you seen Icarus? Think... What? No, not yet. Icarus. Well, like, yeah, for them, they didn't have that. They had a state state funded drug. Explain regime. what it is first, though. Yeah. Uh, Icarus is, is all about if you watch the Sochi Winter Olympics. Yeah, isn't it, it a, a, a one film Russian. on Net- Netflix yes. currently? It was right? a Netflix Docker. film on how Russia basically cheated the Olympics yeah. to make sure none of their athletes tested positive. So they had a state-funded drug regime for all their but, athletes. Okay, but what I don't understand is, and I think you guys can, can answer this for me, because I, I can see how within Russia you can control that. Yeah. And China, within China, can control. But once mm-hmm. you come, once they're all here for the Commonwealth Games, then the testing is carried out not by the Chinese officials mm. or the Russian officials, who oh. aren't the part of the Commonwealth yeah. either. <laughs> <laughs> but, they just wanted but, to be there somewhere. <laughs> I just realised how stupid I sounded. But but you know what I'm trying to get yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's they a couple of points there. Like the, the first one is that. By the time that you're tested at an international thing, then you may have gained an advantage even if you've come off. Yeah, so they would have taken oh, so, okay. yeah. so, like, say, right. for instance, that you've been on, you know, some sort of program or whatever and you've been, you know, like getting an advantage over everyone else for a substantial amount of time and your national body hasn't, you know, mm. really you know, discovered that, then okay, you may come right. off that for the period of, of the games and or the whatever it is and, yeah. and, and test, you know, if you've tested... Presumably, if you won or was medaled or whatever, you may at that point still test like negative. negative yeah. But you've gained this like, and what what where that hurts is that when, when you're competing like that and your standards are then going up, that then drives the world standards up for everyone to try and qualify oh, and makes it harder for the clean countries to make it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So thank that, you because that makes so much sense yeah, now. Yeah. 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 And so that's yeah. one part of it. And then the second part is like when Brennan was just talking about like Icarus. So in the case of like the the Sochi games, like the problem was that the in in that case the Russians, if they were statewide doping, um, when the games were held in Russia, they were then there was people you know they had enough systems in place to be able to wrought the um, international doping systems as Absolutely. well, yeah, yeah. Oh. to take take control of them. So yeah, it's yeah. a pretty scary world in terms of competing and. Um, you know, like it, it's just one of those things that, again, it, it, you just 
yeah, I, I don't know what the answer is. It's just so hard. You just you, mm. we're we're always going to be at a disadvantage to, um, you know, the, those that are yeah. they're not taking things and you know, playing clean. So, but it always comes out in the end, doesn't it? Even if it takes, you know, a decade. Mm. No. What's it? Yeah, like sure, it could take a decade, but perhaps within that decade, they had pushed the standards so high yeah. that say you miss out on your spot to make the Olympics because of that, oh, or okay, for those people that yeah. missed out on getting the gold, silver, or bronze, they missed their moment to stand on the podium because yeah. of a drug cheat. One. Well, yeah. what's interesting to me is that that okay, um, when it comes to being a drug, like what is a drug? You know. When when you when you get delve so deep into sports science on trying yeah. to make yourself look mm. at us we're getting taller we're getting bigger look at our rugby league players for crying yeah. out loud and you look yeah. at rugby league players in the eighties and seventies they just didn't have these same bodies like a yeah. where yeah. we're getting so good at eating yep. and and this is what you do for a living Murray you know at mm. school uh, um, like what's the di- when they break it all down? What is an actual drug? Yeah, was, that's when it becomes complicated yeah. again. Like, and, and where's s- and it headed? Do, and what like, are you guys on now? That's legal. That's like you that's do, my question, Yuri. You can you know? like in a way you can <laughs> like I would feel like I'd feel sorry for someone sometimes. You know, like the pe- some people that have been done for drugs, like you know that again that word drugs in, in sort of inverted commas. Like drugs now can you can go from the form where you think about like you know the lamps aren't strong sort of like the most you know like what you know like the like a chemist yeah, he was a yeah, chemist yeah, like, about you know, it. Yeah, injecting yeah. stuff into yourself but then you can you, like you could get done for stimulants as well and like yeah. that, that, in that case you you could be taking like a protein powder yeah. that could have like we get taught you know about like batch testing so even if it, you can be taking a protein powder or a you know, a BCAA or something like that, like a, a pre-workout sort of thing that's been like... Cross-contaminated cro- with yeah. something else. So you can take it that a su- wow. substance that says substance, banned substance free. So you can try and do everything right. You can walk in, you can say, I need banned substance free, I need this, this and this. Mm-hmm. And then if it's... You can have a cross-contaminated batch and get done for like a stimulant. Yeah. Um, and yeah, then you, it's like that's where it, it's murky yeah. water because you're, yeah. you're looking at this person and you're like you've been done for drugs, and your reaction, is, like Australia's reaction, and like and they're entitled to it would be, you know, like this guy, you know, like you, yeah, you, you're a drug yeah, treat. Like, yeah. But yeah. and then at the end of the day, like it's so hard to compare that mm-hmm. to someone that's sticking yeah. needles in their arms and or EPO and or something like that yeah, too. Right. Like actively, it's, yeah. It, and there's, and there's such a scale in terms of drug drug yeah. cheating now. Well then, um. What what is good then? You know, what what do you find uh, that personally? Koala karma. When I, when I was racing cars, drink. right? <laughs> racing sprint cars. There was nothing like because we'd race our, our the like main event was at nine thirty oh, at night, sense. right? Everyone listen to me. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so I talk about me for one second. Everyone's like, hey, you want you want some biscuits? <laughs> sorry. Um, the the main goal was to be awake. You know, our our main event was nine thirty at night. And you had to do thirty laps, and so it was always caffeine, like mm. you know, which is yeah. a drug. It's a, it just yeah. really is. Like you, mm. you don't want it. You want to be as sharp as you can and as and as fast as you can. So that's obviously legal. Uh, there's a certain amount you can't have over. You can test positive if you have too much caffeine. Caffeine, really? Okay. It would be the equivalent of something ridiculous in terms of the amount of cups of coffee. But if you took like. I don't know if no dose if yeah. they're yeah. having, but if yeah. it was like some kind of pill form that you took a few of, potentially it but comes down to the sport. It comes like, down to the sport. So you, you know, every, like you were saying, like you you have a need. Every sport has an has a need essentially. Like you, uh, you know, like a, a marathon runner, they're not going to be you know they're not going to be taking anabolics. No. <laughs> no, you know, like they don't need to put on twenty five kilo no and um, you know start smashing their yeah. you know bench press out. Like every <laughs> sport's got their. You know, like, like they're they're preferred if you want their preferred drug. Yeah, um, of course. So, but how long do they yeah. last in the system? Or is that like, different? Again, it, it'll it, depend. It varies, yeah. and they're a way to mask that as well. Oh, really? Yeah. What from the tree of life? <laughs> hey, well, Wasn't there like? Didn't the tree of life used to sell something that could mask? Is that a shop? Dope. <laughs> is it? Isn't it? What, I don't know. Am I making this up? Was China really? in the Congo? I don't know. I think oh, this is like an tree article. of life. Oh, look, see, Craig's laughing. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? He's oh, from, what? He's from Shepparton. <laughs> no. This is like an Archie thing. It's like <laughs> yeah. completely just fabricated. Let's talk about that. You guys don't know who Archie <laughs> is. 
<laughs> who doesn't know who Archie? Archie and Betty and Veronica um, are on my breast tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, now I don't know. Now I've got no <laughs> idea what I'm talking about. Um, I actually have no idea. <laughs> oh yeah, no, 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 Brandon. Does if you were to have like you know going back to what you said, Murray, about uh, you know an endurance runner doesn't want to put on weight, it mm-hmm. slows them down. Like, do you? Is building muscle in your sport, weightlifting, does it actually prove to, you know, I know it sounds like a dumb question, but does it? Like, are you actively trying to build muscle? Does it work in your technique for that sport? Yeah. Uh, well, I know for my body weight categories, when you cut down weight, say 69 kilos, you're looking at people that are 69 kilos and maybe 5% body fat. So they're as much <sighs> muscle as they possibly can. Obviously, strength is another thing we need as well, so it's kind of a mix of both. More strength orientated. The, the heavier the body weight categories go up, obviously, the less lean they are. But right, so it is as simple a- as that. Anabolic like if you've got some big arms there, yeah, you, yeah, you've like got some more, more strength. Though. More so, yeah, legs. It doesn't have to be okay. big arms at all. Okay. Guess. Really? No. For your sport? No, not not necessarily. You'll see more people so with like bigger you? legs than arms. Because... It's it, it's more of a leg driven sport, obviously shoulder stability and stuff like that. Oh, shoulders. everything does play a part. Okay, yeah. But yeah, yeah, it, it's more of a leg. I can see the shoulders and legs now. Yeah, because yeah. I, yeah. All right, then what would it be? You know, what in you know track and field? What would it be there? Is it'd it be, endurance? It'd be kind or? of similar. Thing. Yeah, it is. It's it's because again, it's power. You know, yeah. We're, yeah. we're we're both based in power sports. Okay, so. but all right, because drugs. I, like I'm just thinking in general, caffe- whether it be caffeine or steroids, know. whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. There's a bit of pressure on the heart there, isn't uh, there? That's a big thing in weightlifting with the old school weightlifters. Yeah, like the best weightlifter of all time, technically by our single air coefficient, which is a way to uh, distinguish body weight categories and see who's better. He died when he was fifty. Whoa! Because of his heart, his heart. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of health issues. With so that's kind of like the oh, the price you pay, isn't it? Because pretty much because the heart does like without your heart you can't do uh, any of it. It, it, it was you? his it was his liver that one, but oh yeah oh of it, course it, it, it yes. depends on what you do. Like I've heard with cyclists who take is it EPO mm. their blood thickens where they, they have to be woken up to go for a walk or a ride because yeah they need to um. I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. yeah the, blood, the blood count goes from being so low. Yeah, to so, so that, high. To so high. So, yeah. So, they in that period of when the, the, the blood is, like, taken away, yeah. like, they're at massive risk of, like, things going wrong. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, what, about, what about this then? My, my, my cousin, he, uh, he's a champion Ironman and, and triathlete. Did a lot of um, uh, endurance. Yeah. Yeah, but the life, when I look at, um, he's 50, yeah, the life's been drained, like yeah. one of those classic cyclists, uh, yeah, the life's drained out of those guys. You know when yeah. you see them, they, they're, they're looking for that, that Lance Armstrong thin sort mm. of thing. Yeah. Kidney stones, he just got them taken out yesterday. Yeah. You know, a lot of that, if that's, no, no, yeah, kidney. Yeah, so is that a thing, like long endurance, um, he claims it's from, uh, you know, I've heard of yeah, that you before. can do a, do a marathon and piss blood, like yeah, I, yeah. I've heard oh. of some bad things happening because the body's not built to run that far. Like you hear people doing ultra marathons and things like that. It doesn't end well. It doesn't sound good to me. You, you, yeah, you're gonna My be pissing blood by the end of it. Yeah, what about the thought that you've got so many heartbeats in your life? You've got so many uh, yeah. m- hip joints uh, movements mm-hmm. in your life. So much, uh, you know. Do, you do I what? Oh, I don't know. I actually <laughs> can get into that. Right, like yeah. when I see these guys, you know, they do. I'm definitely doubles. worried about it. Like yeah. I, 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 like I know. I reckon I'm going to be. Ha- I get, I'll have arthritis in my hips. Like I can already sort of feel it. Like I wake up in the mornings and I feel my hips pretty bad. Like every yeah. day. Yeah, because you were like talking a, about that. Like, yeah, like um, I've had surgery yeah. already in one. So, yeah, 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 yeah. like I, I'm, I'm, but basically destined for a life of pain. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've like I recently saw a doctor about a bad ankle of mine, and he said that I've done enough damage that i'm gonna have arthritis issues with oh, it when i'm geez. older yeah, but here's the catch but 22 if you stop doing all that exercise you'll feel crap mm. you know so you can't get off that running wheel you know yeah yeah i'm not too i don't know like you don't want to go into your deathbed in perfect condition you want to go in 
with an eye patch in one leg, right? You want to use Hopefully. your body before <laughs> yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully.